good evening, welcome and hello. And yeah, this time we have another short video of something interesting. This here is a toy radio. I've already taken it apart. We will have to put it back together, otherwise my kids will not be very happy. And it's pretty interesting because um, this came like a as a gimmick, an extra to some girls magazine and it looks like a smartphone. Basically it's just a cheap plastic shell, two holes punched in there with two buttons. One says scan, the other says reset. And actually it's not a phone obviously, but it's a radio. It's an FM radio which is actually working. It does work. It comes with um, very cheap headphones here. Um, they're included actually and they function as the antenna. So we have to have some kind of lead attached to this, some kind of cable, which is uh, to be expected. I do have um, those um, serial programmable FM chips which you can get for really cheap off of eBay and I will probably show those off in another video. But this I thought must be something different because those need like a microcontroller at least to program them and they can do stereo. They have pretty high quality. They are probably used in all kinds of um, commercial radios. But this here, this sells the whole thing with the magazine sells for like four euros, I think. So it has to be really cheap and really simple. And after opening it, it contains um, a three volt um, CR2032 standard lithium cell. And it got this very, very simple PCB with the, the very cheapish holder for the, for the lithium cell. A little switch to turn it on and off and a 3.5 millimeter jack which looks to be mono and I think the whole thing is also mono so um, yeah this is in contrast to the SI devices which are stereo and probably a bit higher quality but still this is quite amazing. The other side here shows, I will zoom in just a bit, um, the other side shows few components. So this board here is called the CYM FMBK1068 and coincidentally BK1068 is the chip used here. Um, we will come back to the actual uh, circuit diagram in a minute. And basically you have two very cheap buttons here which are basically just small metal domes, um, clicky thingies. And yeah, those are the two buttons, reset and scan. You have here one inductor, 4.7 micro Henry. There should be another one, but I see only a zero ohm on there. So it's probably just a, yeah, a zero ohm resistor to bridge the gap. Probably some different kind of circuit here. Some, some capacitors here, I think three capacitors for, I don't know what kind of filtering. I don't know much about electronics. And there's some unpopulated stuff over here. Uh, one capacitor missing, another inductor missing. So I guess they're actually not needed. And only two resistors here. That I can make out. So it's really, really very simple. And the mysterious chip here in, in, the, in the middle. Yeah, and that's it, basically. So how to do those um, okay, can we zoom out? Yeah, I can. How does this thing actually work? So basically the BK1068 has 10 pins, I think. Eight pins are described here. Let me count. Two, four, five. Oh, mine has 10 pins, but this example thing here shows eight pins, but all the documentation I found online for this thing leads me to believe that it should have um, 10 pins, all the, uh, all the examples. Yeah, I will have to look up what the missing two pins do. But basically you have the plus three volt and the ground rail. Outside that's obviously where you connect your um, battery. So the battery here and 
the ground wave. And the antenna basically um, has a separate, obviously a separate pin. So I need to check on the traces later if maybe you can improve reception quality by actually attaching a small wire antenna there or something. Could help maybe. Um, so there should be some kind of inductor over here with the antenna and ground. Hmm, you have to check that out. The on pin basically, when you press it, it toggles um, the on off state of the whole chip. In the off state, it uh, retains the last um, found uh, FM station basically, but it uses basic practically no power. Then you have a volume button, which is not attached here. So this is a blank pin. That would be a nice mod to actually add a um, key for that. And both the volume key and the uh, the volume pin and the scan pin are actually tri-state. You can either um, put them to ground or to the positive rail, and the same for the volume to scan in either direction or to do a volume up or volume down. Here they obviously didn't do that, they wanted to be as cheap as possible, so they have only the two functions and not even the volume attached. So you can only scan forwards. Yeah, that's uh, not, not the best, so that would be a nice mod. Um, also, you have the output stage here on this pin, and it's basically just attached to the, to the headphone jack. And I would assume that probably antenna and this go to basically to the, to the headphone jack make it um, function as an antenna, but I have to check the traces later. Yeah, the reset pin is, I don't know what for, I tried it and it worked fine. Sound quality isn't great, but I will try to capture some, some uh, examples later and hope that YouTube doesn't identify this or have to make this short enough so that you can, yeah, that it won't trigger the algorithms of YouTube. Yeah, and that's basically it. It's um, magnificent how simple it is. It would be nice if you could order these things um, off of Mauser or something because you basically just need three capacitors. Um, for safety reasons you will put uh, resistors between those two switches um, on either volume up and uh, scan so that if someone pushes both volume up and volume down buttons you don't have a direct short. But that's simple enough as well. So basically you are left with only half a dozen components, six buttons that you want to attach for scan up, scan down, volume up, volume down, reset and power on. And that's it. So this is basically the simplest radio that you can build and it, this thing here costs probably pennies. But unfortunately they probably sell only to OEMs or something because I don't see any place that sells that legitimately. Yeah, apart from that you will find this chip in a lot of other things. Uh, there seem to be cheap radio kits for people to build and they will contain this chip here because it's so easy um, to, to, to... nobody can mess things up and people would just attach the batteries, the loudspeaker and the dials and etc which is not very interesting, I would say. It's much more interesting to build your own FM thing or to have like the more elaborate chips which need to be programmed via serial ports. That's, in my opinion, much more interesting. You learn much more about the technology. But anyway, this is a very nice thing. So if you want to play around with this, it's the cheapest way is basically to go out to a kiosk and buy for four euros this cheap magazine with phone. Because all the other options that are found are more expensive. So um, yeah, I think you should go for it. I will assemble it now and then I will try to capture some examples of the sound quality so you can determine if it's something for you.
Radio.